Question 1c here, we have x times x plus 1 equals negative 4. Okay, and how do we solve that? Well, we're going to try and use the quadratic formula, but we need the equation in this form. ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. If we have it in that form, then we can use the quadratic formula and solve it. So can you get it into that form? Feel free to press pause in the video and try it yourself if you like. So I'm going to do it now. So I'm going to multiply x in first of all. What's x times x? x squared. What's x times 1? x, right? Equals negative 4. Do I have it in the correct form yet? No, because I need 0 on one side, right? How do I get 0 on one side here? Well, you could add 4 to both sides, right? So that gives us x squared plus x plus 4 equals 0. Now what are the values a, b, and e? Okay, so we have this form. So what we need to do is actually write in the coefficients of each variable here. Okay, so if what is the coefficient of x squared? Write it down. Coefficient of x squared is 1. What's the coefficient of x? Coefficient of x is also 1, right? So now we can clearly see what the values of a, b, and c are, right? So a is 1, b is 1, and c is 4, right? And so now we can calculate this. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, right? Now, press pause in the video and plug in where the numbers should go. Okay, I'll do it now. One, B goes here, B goes here, A goes here, C goes here, and A goes here, right? So now the best thing to do is to calculate this. What's negative 1? Well, negative 1, right? Plus or minus. We'll do this root later. And what's 2 times 1? 2 times 1 is? Two, right? And nice way of doing it is to calculate this root all by itself over here. Okay. So what is one squared? Well, it's just one times one, which is one. Now what's minus four times one times four? Well, that'd be minus sixteen, right? So this gives us square root of. What's 1 minus 16? Negative 15, right? Now, in math, we like to say that we like to write the square root of negative 1 with the letter i. It's just part of the language of math. It's just made up. It's made up, okay? Uh, it's just something we like to do uh, because we have, when we're working with complex numbers, okay? So, negative 15 is in fact negative 1 times 15, isn't it, right? And this can be written as root negative 1 times root 15 using the product property. Now root negative 1, root of negative 1, is written with the letter i. So we have i times root 15. Okay. So we have negative 1 plus or minus i times root 15. Okay. Now when we're adding or subtracting, right, this, these two things are being divided by 2. And we went over how that means that's the same thing as having when, when the whole thing is divided by 2 you need to divide each individual term by 2. So negative 1 over 2 plus or minus i root 15 over 2. Okay, And that is negative a half with the negative sign in line with the fraction bar plus or minus and we've got to write this in the form we've got complex answers so we've got to write the answers in the form a plus b i right? plus or minus so it's root 15 all over 2 times i okay which of course means that we've got x equals negative 1 half plus so this plus or minus can be written as plus or minus. So negative a half plus root 15 over 2 times i 
or negative one half minus root 15 over 2 times i. Now if we calculate that in a calculator, and sometimes you'll need to do this, this is negative 0 0.5 plus, and then of course you just get root 15, and divide it by 2, and that should be 1.93649, and I'll round that to four decimal places, so 1.94365. Sorry, 9365. Okay, so that's one solution, or x equals negative half, that's 0 0.5 minus, and that's again 1.9365, right?